Good East Positioning with everybody, the name is Blue Fang, and welcome back to another episode of the Hunger Games Simulator Season 3. Last time, we did Evil Pokemon Grunts, which is a suggestion by Sir Sario. Not really, but that's how I decided to take it. Anyways, this time, we are doing the Harley Quinn animated TV show, and so let's give a rundown of the cast here. Harley Quinn is the main character, Ivy's the love interest, Joker, former love interest, now just homicidal maniac. Scarecrow, dude obsessed with fear. Kite Man, love interest of Poison Ivy, till she decides to go LGBT. Catwoman was here because I found found it easy. The Bat Family, Bruce Wayne is Batman, Damian Wayne is Robin, Dick Grayson is Nightwing, and Barbara Gordon is Batgirl. And to round out the superheroes, Clark Kent is Superman and Diana Prince is Wonder Woman. Then in the main cast department, we have Clayface and King Shark. And Victor Freeze and Nora Freeze, I remember just being a little heartwarming episode, although I didn't really watch a whole lot of this show, so that's kind of why I had random characters. Oswald Cobblepot and Harvey Dent, because they are classic Batman villains. Commissioner Jim Gordon and Amanda Waller, good guys who are not heroes. Lois Lane, love interest to Superman. And Alfred Pennyworth, the loyal butler to Batman. John Constantine is a magician in DC history, and I almost forgot to include Dr. Psycho, which is weird because he's like a major character in this series. So that's why he's down at District 12. But anyways, with all of this set in mind, we have our cast introduced. Now it is time for me to get my bets. I love Batman, so naturally he's going to be one of my picks. And I think between all others, in all honesty, I'm just going to go with the Caleb Wilco Harley Quinn. I'm just going to go with Harley Quinn and Batman here. So yeah, here we go. Let's proceed. As the chief is standing on the podium, the horn sounds. Harley Quinn snatches a bottle of alcohol in a rag. The King Shark runs away from the cornucopia. Superman receives a trident from, from inside the cornucopia. Kite Man runs away from the cornucopia. Commissioner Jim Gordon runs away from the cornucopia. Batman runs away. Scarecrow runs away. The Penguin runs away. Clayface rips a mace out of Joker's hands. Nightwing snatches a pair of shies. Sighs. Nora runs away. Mr. Freeze runs away. Poison Ivy runs away, Dr. Psycho runs away, Batgirl runs away, Alfred runs away, Catwoman takes a handful of throwing knives, Two-Face runs into the cornucopia and hides, Amanda Waller somehow breaks Wonder Woman's nose for a basket of bread. That's an impressive achievement. But anyways, John Constantine runs away, Lois snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag, and Robin takes a handful of throwing knives. Day one. Batgirl, Nightwing, and Lois Lane start fighting, but Nightwing runs away as Batgirl kills Lois Lane. I can't believe the first kill I can't believe the first kill of the Harley Quinn TV show came from the Bat family. But yeah, I guess Lois Lane is dead. Nora constructs a shack. Catwoman picks flowers. Poison Ivy chases Batman. Alfred begs for Scarecrow to kill him. He refuses keeping Alfred alive. Superman receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Dr. Psycho searches for firewood. Kite Man hunts for other tributes. Commissioner Jim Gordon collects fruit from a tree. Clayface picks flowers. Joker steals from Mr. Freeze while he isn't looking. The penguin injures himself. John Constantine practices archery. Two-Face constructs a shack. Wonder Woman forces King Shark to kill Robin or Amanda Waller. He refuses to kill, so Wonder Woman kills him instead. King Shark is dead, and Harley Quinn explores the arena. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Lois Lane from District 11 and King Shark from District 7. No district is completely out of play yet, but we are down to 22 survivors. So let's keep it going. Poison Ivy and Amanda, po Joker, Poison Ivy and Amanda Waller cheerfully sing songs together. Nora destroys Nightwing, supplies that he is asleep. The Penguin starts a fire. Wonder Woman convinces Scarecrow to snuggle with her. Two faces awoken by nightmares. Kite Man, Robin, and Clayface sleep in shifts. Catwoman thinks about winning. Mister Freeze, Doctor Psycho, Batgirl, and Superman sleep in shifts. Batman is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. John Constantine receives medical supplies. Applies from an unknown sponsor. Commissioner Jim Corden decapitates Harley Quinn with a sword. Yeesh. And correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't in this show she joins the Bat family? Whoa. Well, there goes one of my picks already. And Alfred attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Day 2. Amanda Waller receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Joker strangles Robin with a rope. Man, he just really wanted to do onto Damian Wayne what he did to Jason Todd, huh? Anyway, Superman searches for firewood. Nightwing diverts Mr. Freeze's attention and runs away. Poison Ivy Spirit switches to Trident. Nora defeats the Penguin in a fight but spares his life. Batgirl discovers a cave. Catwoman, Commissioner Jim Gordon, Alfred, and Clayface hunt 
for other tributes. Kite Man scares Batman off. Wonder Woman camouflages herself in the bushes. Two Faces covers a river. Doctor Psycho hunts for other tributes. John Constantine discovers a cave, and Scarecrow <laughs> discovers a river. Two more cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Harley Quinn from District 1 and Robin from District 4. With that said in mind, again, no district out of play, but 24 minus 4 means that we are down to 20 survivors left. So yeah, we are down to the top 20. Let's keep things going. Poison Ivy repeatedly stabs John Constantine to death with a sigh. No, Nora, Kiteman, and Clayface discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Amanda Waller screams for help. Two-Face begs for Dr. Psycho to kill him. He refuses keeping Two-Face alive. Alfred, Mr. Freeze, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Commissioner Jim Gordon sleep in shifts. Catwoman looks at the night sky. Scarecrow defeats Batgirl in a fight but spares her life. Nightwing sees a fire but stays hidden. The Joker sees an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Batman and the Penguin run into each other and decide, and decide a truce for the night. Day 3. Batman receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Mr. Freeze receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Alfred discovers a river. Clayface severely slices Scarecrow with a sword. Wonder Woman hunts for other tributes. The Penguin constructs a shack. Nightwing receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Dr. Psycho camouflages himself in the bushes. The Two-Face two receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. The Joker kills Batgirl with a sickle. Why are you going at... I get that Batman. Batman's his obsession. He's trying to break him right now. I killed, I killed your Robin, and I'm going to kill your girl. <laughs> Anyways, who's gonna be up next? I don't know. Superman fishes. Kite Man tries to see through the entire day. Poison Ivy sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Nora makes a wooden spear. Amanda Waller discovers a cave. Catwoman thinks about home, and Jim Commissioner Jim Gordon discovers a river. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. All right, so we're moving out there slowly. We got John Constantine from District 12, Scarecrow from District 2, and Batgirl from District 5. Again, I don't think that a single district is out of play yet. But I do need to start keeping count of we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 people left standing. So let's keep it going. We're at 17. Nightwing, Nora, and Clayfish track down and kill Kite Man. The Penguin receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Joker and Dr. Psycho tell the stories about themselves to each other. Poison Ivy accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. There we have it. I think that's a district out of play. Commissioner G Jim Gordon catches Mr. Freeze off guard and kills him. Alfred attempts to climb a tree of rest. Two-Face passes out from exhaustion. Amanda Wilde looks at the night sky. Wonder Woman stabs Superman with a tree branch. Catwoman passes out from exhaustion, and Batman cries himself to sleep. A lot of death this round. Day 4. Alfred searches for a water source. Wonder Woman explores the arena. Batman injures himself. Commissioner Jim Gordon kills Dr. Psycho with a hatchet. Jim Gordon's on a killing spree right now. Holy crap. The Joker divert... Joker diverts the Penguin's attention and runs away. Amanda Waller makes a slingshot. Two-Face and Catwoman threaten a double suicide. It fails and they die. Nightwing spears Clayface in the abdomen and Nora goes hunting. Eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Over half the cast has is gone now. We have Kite Man from District 3, Poison Ivy from District 1, Mr. Freeze from District 8, Superman from District 6, Dr. Psycho from District 12, Two-Face from District 9, Catwoman from District 3, and Clayface from District 7. With that out of the way, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 people left standing. Standing with Districts 1, 3, and set 7 and 12 completely out of play. Right now, holy crap, District 10 is actually District 10 is actually completely healthy with both of its members still standing and Commissioner Jim Gordon on the killing spree. Anyways, top 9, here we go. Commissioner Jim Gordon and Alfred Hall for warmth. Nora begs for Batman to kill her. He refuses keeping Nora alive. Wait a minute, that's right. Batman hasn't killed anybody yet. He really is living up to the I don't kill rule. Joker passes out from exhaustion. Wonder Woman climbs a tree to rest. Amanda Waller kills Nightwing with a sickle, and the Penguin cries himself to sleep. The cornucopias rep will punish the food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from tributes families. Amanda Waller decides not to go to the feast. The Nora, the, Pe Nora, the Penguin, and Joker confront each other, but grab what they want slowly to avoid conflict. Alfred sets Batman on fire with a Molotov? What? Oh no. Well, I'm losing this episode, but 
all right. <laughs> Guess it's an interesting way to lose. And Wonder Woman catches Commissioner Jim Gordon off guard and kills him. With this, Alfred scares Wonder Woman off. Nora attempts to climb a tree but falls in the penguin, killing them both. Top four. Joker goes hunting and Amanda Waller discovers a river. With that, five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Nightwing from District 5, Batman from District 4, Commissioner Jim Gordon from District 10, Nora from District 8, and the Penguin from District 9. With that, we are down to the top four people, being the Joker, Wonder Woman, Amanda Waller, and Alfred Pennyworth. Worth being alive. Districts 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 12 are completely out of play here. Oh boy, who's winning this? Certainly not anyone I'd expect. Well, okay, maybe Wonder Woman. Amanda Waller tends to her wounds. Alfred shoots a poisonous blow dart into Wonder Woman's neck, slowly killing her. Okay, so never mind. I would... Never mind. We have Amanda Wa We have government agent, butler, and homicidal maniac alive. Live. The Joker receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Amanda Alfred diverts Amanda Waller's attention and runs away, and the Joker discovers a river. Only one person is dead, and that is Wonder Woman from District 6. Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the top three left with Joker, Amanda Waller, and Alfred Pennyworth. Districts 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 12 are completely out of play. Here we go. And let's proceed. Amanda Waller receives medical splash from an unknown sponsor. Joker looks at the night sky. Alfred thinks about winning. Alfred bashes Amanda Waller's head against a rock several times. The Joker falls into a pit and dies. Ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Waller from District 10 and Joker from District 2, which means that the winner is Alfred Pennyworth. Ha that is an unexpected turn. But then again, remember, he's a butler. Yep, there we have it. Alfred Pennyworth, the winner of our F of the fourth episode of the Hunger Games Simulator. With all this set in mind, let's review the placements. In 24th place, Lois Lane. In 23rd place, King Shark. In 22nd place, Harley Quinn. In 21st place, Damian Wayne, a.k.a. Robin. In 28th place, John Constantine. In 19th place, Scarecrow. In 18th place, with one kill, Barbara Gordon, a.k.a. Batgirl. In 17th place, Kite Man. In 16th place, with one kill, Poison Ivy. In 15th place, Victor Freeze, also known as Mr. Freeze. In 14th place, Clark Kent, also known as Superman. In 13th place, Dr. Psycho. In 12th place, Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face. In 11th place, Catwoman, a.k.a. Selina Kyle. In 10th place, with two kills, Clayface. In 9th place, with two kills, Dick Grayson, a.k.a. Nightwing. In 8th place, with no kills to his name, is Bruce Wayne, also known as the Batman. In 7th place, with 3 kills to his name, tied for the most, is Commissioner Jim Gordon. In 6th place, with 1 kill, Nora Fries. In 5th place, Oswald Cobblepot, also known as the Penguin. In 4th place, Diana Prince, also known as Wonder Woman, with 3 kills. In 3rd place, with 1 kill, Amanda Waller. In 2nd place, with 2 kills, the Joker. And then the winner, with 3 kills to his name, is Alfred Pennyworth. Proceeding, I think this is around Alfred around average not alfred but anyways in 12th place district 1 and 11th place district 12 and 10th place district 3 and 9th place district 7 and 8th place district 5 and 7th place district 4 and 6th place district 8 and 5th place district 9 and 4th place district 6 and 3rd place district 10 and 2nd place district 2 and in 1st place district 11 and so with that all said in mind, that is going to conclude it for today's episode of the Hunger Games Simulator. I bid you all a good West positioning of the sun, everybody. Please remember that my name is Wu Fang, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.